Well, Bass, let's start by talking about how much of a difficult week, difficult start to the week it was. How did you and the players react to the news about Danny and Nicky? Yeah, obviously a sad week for, for everyone. Um, start of the week, it's never nice, uh, this part of football. Uh, certainly not when there's two people as hard working and as honest as Danny and Nicky. And, you know, I'd personally like to send my thanks to them, A, for bringing me here and all the support they've given me along the journey. Uh, as hopefully I have to them, um, two brilliant people, and I'm pretty sure they'll be back in football fairly soon. So, yeah, thanks from, from all the staff, really, for, for all the help they gave us. You obviously worked under them for the last year and a half. Do you feel it's important to have that continuity for the players during this period? Well, I think it always helps, you know, to, to have some familiarity, um, certainly in the short term. Uh, it's never good when a new people come in and they clear it and then they have to find out everything for themselves. It's always nice to have someone there, I think, who can offer an insight into what's gone on previously and, and, and players' history, etc. So, yeah, that kind of really helps, certainly. And you'll be working alongside Zesh Remen from the academy. How's it been linking up with him in training this week? Yeah, Zesh has come back from Thailand and, and, and came in and joined in this week with the staff. Uh, this is a good guy, you know, um, we've worked close with the academy over the last year. Um, and Zesh has been a regular uh, occupant of the office over at the first team uh, part of the site. So, yeah, it's, it's no, uh, no new thing. We, we get on well with Zesh and Zesh offers a, a fresh pair of eyes to, the, to, to us as staff. Me and Lorenzo, obviously, have been working with the first team now for 18 months. So, just someone to, to helicopter it, I suppose, and look from the outside in and, and uh, probably offer a different insight because we have maybe unconscious bias to, towards some and against some maybe. So it's always nice to get another opinion. Yeah, as you said, Joe, Lorenzo and the rest of the staff too. How much have they helped you during this period? Yeah, brilliant. You know, we've got a really good staff here. Um, so we've been working closely together for 18 months. You know, the... Uh, the work that Danny and Nicky have done here, and certainly the hours we've we spent a lot of time together um, and, and formed a really close bond. So uh, always nice to, to work again with with the boys, uh, and, and they've really stepped up to the to the plate. So yeah, I'm really thankful to all of them. On to this weekend, how excited are you and the players for the opportunity to play against some of the best players in the world at one of the best stadiums in the world? Yep, yeah, uh, fantastic. I went to the opening game of. Uh, the new Tottenham Stadium um, a few years ago now. Beautiful s stadium, fantastic arena. As you rightly say, one of the best in the world. Um, and yeah, it's a great honour to work against uh, a manager of Antonio Conte's uh, pedigree. You know, we went last night to watch the game at Crystal Palace and, you know, they unluckily for us, maybe they found their form second half. But yeah, brilliant challenge, brilliant challenge. One we're really looking forward to, me as a coach and certainly the players as, a, as competitors are really looking forward to the challenge. So um, it's not often that Portsmouth's an underdog in League One, uh, but yeah, we'll be the underdog Saturday and uh, this is a good group. We've been in a difficult moment at, the, at, the, at this precise time, but there's a good group here and uh, we're going to go Saturday and, and hopefully give a really good account of ourselves and show that there's some fight in us still. Yeah, as you said, massive underdogs going into the weekend, but what approach are you taking into the game? Well, I think we have to be sensible. You know, always when you play these big teams, this isn't my first. We've, you know, in my previous jobs, we've played against West Ham with uh, Pellegrini, we've played Spurs at Wembley under Pochettino, we played Liverpool under Brenda Rogers, so we've had these games before. It's about um, being in the game is ultimately the, the key, not to do anything stupid early on, certainly. Um, so we've, we've worked on some stuff today. We've got a good game plan, we think. Um, we've watched between the staff now probably five or six games of Spurs. Um, to see them live yesterday was, uh, was good. Um, first half, we... We had a plan, second half we had to change that plan by full time <laughs> and, uh, and look, at, look at other ways. But yeah, they're, listen, they're a top class side with world class players and uh, we certainly know to get anything out of the game we're going to have to be right at our limit and uh, that's what we hope to be. 
What's the latest injury update you can provide? Yeah, we've got a few. We picked up one this week, who, which was unfortunate. Um, but we bring Louis Thompson uh, back into the group, which is huge for us. I mean, not only Louis is a fantastic player, um, but he's a really good guy. He's brilliant around the change room. He's a, a real good uh, person to have in the squad because he has experience, he's got knowledge, uh, and he, he keeps the boys you know, entertained in, in, in the group. You know, So it's never a quiet moment when, when Louis is about. So, yeah, we're really pleased to have Louis back and he brings a different dynamic to us uh, on and off the pitch. So that's a good one for us. Uh, Clark Robertson's um, still undergoing treatment, so probably a little bit soon for Clark. But yeah, outside of that, just a normal one's injured. Um, and we're, we hope we don't see envisage any of them probably in the next 10 days. Yeah, great to see Louis back, as you said. How far away do you think he is from possibly getting back into the into the core group of the squad? Yeah, well, as I say, we're nine subs um, on Saturday. So we'll bring two academy boys into that group um, who have done well this year. So it'd be a great experience for them. Um, Louis comes back into the group and I've got no doubt that if I need to put Louis on um, at some stage, you know, he's got percentage of the game in him I wouldn't say it would be a huge percentage of it but we're starting to build him back into that he's had some individual training sessions that have helped his fitness um, but nothing replicates playing and unfortunately we haven't got any bounce games um, here so he'll have to get his fitness up Saturday maybe certainly Tuesday there's an opportunity to get some minutes into him and just finally, almost 9,000 Pompey fans are going to be in the away end at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah. How crucial will their support be? As always, uh, really crucial. You know, we we take a brilliant following wherever we go. Um, as I say, to, to sell the 9,000, certainly as quickly as we did, um, you know, is, is a fantastic achievement by them. And we, we hopefully will give them something to shout about on Saturday. Um, I was just talking to Kev, the kit man, about 92, I think it was at Highbury. Uh, and I just remember the Pompey fans behind the goal that day. I was a young kid watching it then. Um, and then ended up playing with Martin Cool later in, in his career and at the start of my career. And we always used to talk about that. And Martin always spoke so passionately about how brilliant the Pompey fans uh, are, certainly on the big occasions. And obviously through my coaching journey, coming to Fratton Park and playing against them, it was always a... Uh, an intimidating place to go and I'm sure the 9,000 we take on uh, Saturday will make a lot of noise.